Hello, it's Susie from Dolly Box. I thought I'd give you a little tour of my doll collection. This is something to do on a cold, wet day. Um, and we'll start with the doll that started it all. And I keep my vintage dolls out here on the landing. So this, oops, oh dear. This is my doll that started it all. This is Poppy. Um, she was my very first doll. She's the only toy I have left from my childhood. Um, but Poppy and I were inseparable for many years. In fact, when I was 13, I used to hide her under my bed when my friends came over so no one knew I had her and I played with her. Um, but yeah, so I don't know what brand she is, what make she is. I just know she's she was very cheap, but very loved. <laughs> um, and she stays in this vintage crib. And I since, oops, found two others like her in charity shops and car boot sales. This one. And this one. Her same. eyes shut. Her, yes, her eyes, she does have eye problems. Okay, this is my Tiny Tears. That was actually gifted to me in a doll's pram for my daughter. Um, so that's my Tiny Tears. And I've got a Cabbage Patch here and a Cupid doll. Okay. Can you see them? <laughs> Okay, this doll is another one that I bought because I used to have it when I was um, a little girl and I used to lie them down and sit them up and he used to go, Meh. again, I know nothing about her, but I know that she smells exactly like she did when I had one. <laughs> She's lovely. Then I've got my biggest doll here. This is Pixie. Um, again, I had a doll exactly the same as this when I was younger um, and as you do you grow up and you give them away and then you be get to your 30s and you cry because you wish you'd kept them all and so I found her on eBay um, and she really is toddler size this is actually one of my daughter's outfits that, <laughs> that she's wearing um, and when she came Felicity Rose said oh good my sister is here that is how big this dolly is okay and then down here I've just got a little rosebud asleep in the crib that I got from a toy and doll fair a vintage crib okay let's go back through to the bedroom am I very lucky that my husband allows me to have my dolls in here um and we'll start with Mirai who I'm sure you've probably seen on our doll unboxing video she's a smart doll she is just lovely currently she is my favourite doll. Um, she is poseable, she is transportable, we take her out and take lots of pictures of her. And she's your second biggest doll. And she is my second biggest doll. She's 60 centimetres tall, so she is very, very big. Okay. Over here, we'll go down here to my crib. My little vintage crib with my baby dolls in. I've got two Petty Colin dolls, dressed as little animals. They're super cute, very blue eyes. I've got a little lamb and a little bear. And a Margot. And Margot's coming to see what's going on. <laughs> Come on, Margot. Um, I've also got my Carol doll. This is one of the very first ones I got for my collection. Second hand, but I just love that face. I mean, that face is so sweet. I mean, she's very weighted. And she smells like vanilla. She's lovely. Um, and then here, I've got my Anto Antonio Joanne doll. I actually bought because my mum had a photograph of her when she was young with an armful of bluebells. And the way her hair is just reminded me so much of my mum <laughs> that that's the reason I bought her. Oh, goodness. Dolls falling everywhere. Pop those back in. Okay, here's my Gots horse, which of course you have to have a horse for your dolls to ride. Then we'll go up here. Um, here is my Blythe. Um, I'm fairly new to Blythe, so again, I've not really come across them before. Um, she's obviously a factory Blythe, Blythe with an artist um, face up. Her eyes change, but she, I mean, her curls are so soft. She... Um, is absolutely beautiful. She's the only artist doll I own. I would like to have a million Blythes, maybe one day I will. And sitting on her lap is a little shopping doll. Shopkin doll. 
Um, then here is my Gotts Emma, who is just beautiful. Um, my friend Terry bought her for me um, last year after I went to a, a Gotts meet and I was like, I don't have one, I really, really want one. And he very, very, very kindly, very kindly got her for me. Um, she's holding a little vintage cabbage patch. And here's her puppy, of course, the doll needs a puppy. Um, I've got another little Blythe. This is a mini Blythe that came with Littlest Pet Shop. And she's sitting there. Um, the only American girl, the true American girl doll I own is a miniature one called Felicity. Obviously the same as Felicity Rose. She's lovely. I love her little pink curls. Um, up here, I've got my Welly Wishes doll. We actually bought her um, from the American Girl shop in Florida. When we went to Florida, one of our goals was to go to the American Girl shop and choose a doll and she was the one of all the dolls there that stole my heart. I just loved her sweet expression. Um, she's so much fun. Okay, down here is my kids and cats. Um, I think her name is Nadine. I call her Ophelia. She's very sweet and she's got her little pet cat on her lap. Then I've got another lorry doll here. I say another one. I haven't even no, showed my No, it's an generation doll. Is this our generation? Yeah. It's oh, generation she is. Mini. She's an our generation mini. My lorry's over there. Yeah, she's an our generation mini. She's Isla, isn't she? Yes. She's lovely, and I like her because obviously she does ballet. Um, and then I've got here a girl full time. Um, these are beautiful dolls. Absolutely beautiful dolls, and they come in in um period dress. So she's wearing her medieval um robes. And shoes. Um, she's joint. She's got joint. Lots of joints. So she's nice to pose. Um, her expression is just dreamy. I mean, look at that. Put this much on the forehead there. She's very, very beautiful. Okay, we'll go down here. The next doll is fairly new to my doll collection. Um, this is Autumn. Um, she is from the My Crochet Doll. A book that someone very kindly crocheted her for me in a teddy bear suit because I collect teddy bears and holding a mushroom because I also collect mushrooms dolls teddy bears mushrooms don't want anything really but she is very sweet very lovely um, another crochet doll I've got is this one that my mum that my mum made for me during lockdown and posted and Felicity Rose and I have both got one of these a little sleepy doll very sweet um, I've got here is a is an adore doll. Um, I've only got one large adore doll, and I've got a tiny one which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but she's lovely. She smells like baby powder, and you can see her eyes are just are just lovely. Quality, absolute quality. This doll. Um, and then another one that I kind of bought before I thought about collecting dolls, but I. I saw her in the window of, of an antique shop actually wearing an antique baby christening robe and I was like, I need to have that doll. Um, before, like I say, before I was collecting dolls, so she's a coral doll. Um, she is a lovely, big, chubby baby. She can wear proper baby clothes. She's a delight to dress and shop for. And she's called Ottilie. Okay, we'll go up here. Up to the top of my drawers. I've got a Bonica Ascot doll who's got her hat all ready for Ascot, of course. A rag doll. I've got my newest doll, which is a na 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 surprise. I'm hoping to add some more na 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 surprise to my collection, not just because the surprise is immense when it pops and the confetti goes everywhere, but also because the hair is so soft. The dolls are well made and they are super cute. Okay, here is my Lanina Ballerina doll with the super long legs super long legs and my Royal Ballet Titania doll that um, my one of my dance teachers bought for me when I danced the part of Titania in our school sort of dance production. Okay and over here we'll start up here um, as you can see I'm running out of shelf space I well, I have run out of shelf space. Um, this is a doll that I bought um, during lockdown, when I go into hospital, and once I'm well enough, but not well enough to go home, but well enough to see and board, um, I 
by dolls. It's a weakness. Um, but she is lovely. She is lovely. She is made by a company called Lawrence. Her hair, I mean, you can see her hair. Is just, I would recommend, if you don't have one of these Lawrence dolls in your collection, please get one. I mean, look at her little face. And they all come with a either a cupcake or a lollipop or some other delicious delight. A little bag. I mean, the quality is super, but look at her expression. Just look. Who wouldn't fall in love with a face like that? <laughs> okay. And she's sitting in front of my um, Le Cherry Coral doll. Chloe, who's a ballerina, of course. My first and only so far Barbie. She's a made-to-move Barbie, so she can do all the yoga poses. Um, yeah, she is so much fun. Again, my first, I, and I only got her this year. I've never had a Barbie before, but I'm hoping to have lots more. Um, this is Joelle. She was another hospital doll <laughs> that I accidentally bought. While I was in the hospital, I blame it on the medication. Um, but she's a petticolin painted by, um, well, she's designed by Sylvia Natura. But her face, I mean, she just looks like a, a little girl, doesn't she? She's just beautiful, really beautiful. Um, and then we'll go on to my lovely Rapunzel, whose hair hangs below the shelf, animator doll. Um, I had her for Christmas, my friend. Um, animated dolls are something I would definitely want more of. The quality is good, but also they're just so cute. So they're the Disney characters, but as children. Yeah, so the Disney characters, like the princesses and other characters too, um, and they're given kind of like real childish baby faces, and that is what's so appealing about them, I think. Um, here is another Kids and Cats. This is a mini Kids and Cats. Um, I call her Evangeline. That's not her real name, but um, she's very sweet. And then we'll go down here. We'll start with my Bonnie and Pearls. Um, Bonnie and Pearls uh, were a British company. Bonnie and Pearl was a British company um, making dolls. Uh, they no longer exist. Um, which is a real shame because the quality of these dolls is just, just beautiful. I mean, they are soft bodied, hard limbed. The hair is long and luxurious and soft. It doesn't go frizzy. It's really, they're really easy to take care of and lovely dolls. I've got two, so I've got Emma and I've got Catherine as well. There, I mean, look at those eyes. She's a dream. Then we go on to my Hearts and Hearts doll. Hearts to Hearts doll. Hearts for Hearts. Hearts for Hearts doll. Yeah, Hearts yes. for Hearts. Thank you. Oops, she's falling off the shelf. Um, she's a Mexican doll. I call her Indy. Um, but I love her sass and her style. I love her earrings. I love her bangles. I love, I mean, look, she's another one. Her hair is beautiful. Um, yeah, the, these dolls, again, look them up and invest if you can, and particularly if you're in the States. I think you can only get them in the States at the moment. Um, but those dolls are lovely. Here is my big Our Generation doll, Kaylee, and she's another one. I have a real thing for dolls with curly hair. And this was actually my daughter's doll, um, but when she was saving up to buy another one, um, she was selling some of her, some of her Our Generation dolls because she had quite a big collection. Um, and yes, I did buy a doll of my own daughter. So that's her. This is my Carpatina doll. She was an extremely lucky, fortunate eBay find. Her hair is just, I mean, look at that. So silky. Um, and she is just beautiful. One of my absolute favourite dolls. Okay, down here. This is a little celluloid reproduction doll by Petty Colin. Very sweet with a little bobble hat in the old style, which I just think is ever so, ever so cute. I've got a little Cafe Cruise baby there. I mean, I love the Cafe Cruise, not just for the quality, but also their really neutral expressions makes it very easy for children to project, you know, feelings and personalities onto those dolls. They're lovely. And down here, this is my lorry doll. This is my lorry doll. 
and she also is dressed for ballet. Um, this is Emma's puppy and a little miniature Margot. Okay, down again. This is Fritzy. She is um, a Cathy Cruz doll, uh, but with designed obviously with uh, Sylvia Natura. I mean, her quality is lovely, her little hands. She was one of the first dolls I bought just because she's so tiny and so pretty. And she's sitting in front of Lulu, who is actually called Louisa. She's a Patty Collin doll. Um, but yeah, she's very sweet as well. She's got a face by Sylvia Natura. Um, and here is, this doll's called Fanny, but I think Francesca is a much more sophisticated name for such a beautiful doll. And look at that face, just lovely. Then I've got my Parista girls, that you probably saw us opening and making a mess all over the living room floor in there. Um, and here's my little Dora doll. Um, I call her Lila. She smells like um, baby powder and is very sweet. Then next to her, I've got my Gots mini muffin, Darcy. Um, one, again, one of my earlier dolls. And sitting on her lap is a Barangua baby. She's a little tiny baby. She's had her, she's had her hair rooted. They, they, these dolls come with no hair. Um, but I found this one rooted and I had to have her because I thought she looked so funny with all that lovely fluffy hair. And next to her is another Cathy Cruz um, doll called, that I call Minnie. Then down to the next shelf, I've got... LOLs because no doll collection is complete without an LOL or two um, and these were so much fun to unwrap so much fun really good fun and really really well made actually really sweet dolls um, next to those I've got my uh, here I've got my um, Hatchimals Pixie vacay style <laughs> Very sassy with her pink glittery hair. I've got um, my Russian dolls here. There are five or six in there. Um, I haven't got them displayed out because I don't really have the space for them, but I should because the little one is so very, very cute. Next to her, I've got a little Disney corner with Tinkerbell, who is my ultimate favourite Disney character of all. Um, and then next to there, I've got another Rapunzel because she's my favourite princess and another tiny Tinkerbell and then down on the bottom shelf if you can see is my Lottie collection which is quite big I either have 21 or 22 I think um, Lotties I'd like to get them all I'm hoping one day I will have them all I'm not sure if that's going to happen but I really hope it does and these are their horses just here. Because of course, Lottie's need horses. And then the last doll in my collection is my Lala Loopsie Build-A-Bear because she was super cute.